One of the coolest aspects of the Bungo Stray Dog series is in the character's supernatural powers called abilities. Each character's ability is super unique and has its own strengths and limitations. The series does a great job of following the characters as they use their abilities to solve supernatural mysteries and fight against supernatural organizations. These abilities are also based on the works of the famous literary figures the characters are based off of, which I think is just so unique. Today, I want to look into one of my favorites, and that is none other than Dazai's No Longer Human. Former executive of the Port Mafia and current armed detective agency member, Osamu Dazai has the ability called No Longer Human. His ability No Longer Human renders all other abilities completely useless with simply a touch as he completely nullifies them. His ability could be considered seriously broken in a world of ability users as, you know, he poses such a serious threat to anyone who totally relies on their ability to survive or fight because around Dozai, no ability is immune to him. The power of No Longer Human is reliant on contact for its first activation. After that, I'd say you were in trouble if you intended to ever use your ability against him again. Even when wearing clothing, the power seems to penetrate the material and neutralize any attacks as well. However, the clothing must adhere to the ability user. So let's use Dazai's coat as an example to explain this. So imagine that if someone used their power while touching Dazai's sleeve. Their power would be immediately cancelled because the sleeve is in direct contact with his skin, and it does appear as if this will work through multiple layers. However, if someone was to touch the end of Dozai's coat, you know, like the, the bits flapping off around his legs, their ability would still be in effect because that part of his clothing is not touching him directly. Now, Dozai doesn't need to make that same physical contact with the ability user if he intends to negate their power again in the future. His ability remains active as soon as he he or the ability is touched. Even if Dozai was restrained himself, once he has made that initial contact, he can nullify that ability whenever. So yeah, if you're going up against our boy Dozai and he already has your ability checked, then game over really, as any negative effects that an ability might have on him are now fully eliminated. You know, like a Rashomon from Octagawa, Kyoka's Demon Snow, a Tiger Claw from Artsushi and so on, all are ineffective against him. So yeah, the benefit of No Longer Human is clear cut. It can easily and rapidly be used, and it can also halt some insanely strong attacks on its own. He could easily defeat a character that was heavily dependent on their ability. There are, of course, numerous abilities in the Bungo Stray Dogs world that are extremely hazardous and in some cases lethal. Dazai is, of course, fortunate in that he can largely halt all of them. Now, for good reason, Dozai can and has used No Longer Human to affect the abilities of others. Let's take Chuya's Upon the Tainted Sorrow as an example here. Of course, corruption is the true form of Chuya's ability. Not only is the ability incredible and probably one of, if not the strongest ability in the series, but it is incredibly dangerous at the same time in the fact that Chuya has zero control over his ability's true form, thus meaning that he will continue in this rampaging state until he dies. Now this is where Dozai's No Longer Human comes into play as his ability is the only way to nullify Chuya's destructive rampages at this time that we know of anyway. Dozai can also nullify the effects of another person's abilities that are affecting others. A perfect example of this is the really nasty Dogra Magra ability of Mind Control. However, now in this instance, to free the victims of this ability, he couldn't simply touch someone to set them free. So in order to free another person from this ability's effect, he had to make contact with the source itself. This was either the user of the ability themselves or the medium for that ability, which in this case was Q's doll. So yeah, Dozai is an opponent to be feared because of this ability to negate all other abilities. And it's not just that, you've got to throw in his keen thinking into the mix as well. An ability is, in my opinion, only as good as its user. And let's face it, Dozai is certainly a person who also has a mind to be feared. As a former Mafia executive, Dozai's intelligence was and still is his main field of expertise. Ogai Mori, a skilled tactician himself, had a lot of faith in Dozai's knowledge and actually relied on it. He considered Dozai to be his most deserving right-hand man if he had remained in the Mafia. 
Now in the armed detective agency alongside people like Rompo, who is of course hailed by others and by himself, obviously, as the finest investigator in the world. Darzai is also known as one of the agency's sharpest detectives, which is a clear nod to his sharp mind. So yeah, this is where Darzai is truly terrifying in his compatibility with No Longer Human. It's his ability to think ahead. Darzai believes that his ability to predict outcomes is one of his strongest traits, if not his strongest. And when you combine that with No Longer Human, it is just a crazy thought, isn't it? But Darzai isn't actually all powerful himself. Although his ability pretty much shields him from the other abilities out there, it has no effect at all on regular physical attacks. Thus, using weapons like guns, knives, or even bombs if you want it to be that extreme, this would do the trick in taking out Dazai. Dazai is also not very strong when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat. Therefore, people who are proficient in physical fighting could also defeat him without using their ability. Therefore, the leading contenders to take him down would be characters such as Chuya, Kurikida, and uh, Fukuzawa off the top of my head. Actually, according to Chuya, Dazai had average to below average hand-to-hand -hand skills within the Mafia. However, it was his ability that made up for it. Now, in Dazai's defense, by anticipating and countering Chuya's motions and timing which he had studied, Dazai was actually able to temporarily hold his own against the Mafia's most physically skilled member. However, he did end up getting backed up against a wall. So, yeah, his lack of physicality can hold him back when it comes to using No Longer Human. Remember, he does need to make contact in order to use this ability, so if his opponent knows this, then yeah, he could be in a lot of trouble. However, Dozai will always live. Though I would say this was against his own will, remembering his, uh, his dream of a double suicide with a beautiful woman. Anyway, this is thanks to his sharp mind, which is truly a gift in itself. Talking of these disadvantages, Dozai is of course indeed aware of his own weaknesses, which is why he will avoid combat as much as possible unless he has a specific backup plan or a sound strategy with a high chance of success. Now, another drawback and a big downside to No Longer Human is that he wouldn't be affected by Yosuno's power or any other healing abilities. So if Dozai was to sustain a fatal injury and be close to death himself, there would be no way to save him using an ability because no longer human is active 24-7. It's a constant thing. As a result of this, unlike the other members of the armed detective agency, Dozai must undergo the regular medical procedure or operation at a hospital any time that he is hurt. Though, thanks to the light novel, there was a very, very slim chance in which Yosuno's ability would work on Dozai. So, there is a 0.5 second window of chance while he is on the verge of passing away to heal him. There would be this small window before the blood reached Dozai's brain after his heart had been revived through resuscitation. In this small opportunity, Yosuno's power would work on him here because Dozai's brain won't be operating due to the lack of blood flowing to it and thus his ability won't interfere, though he would still be alive because his heart would be beating. The only condition Dozai would be able to heal with her ability is this one, but the likelihood of this happening is extremely low. So, as I mentioned earlier, the names of all the abilities in Boongo Stray Dogs are taken from the books written by the same authors that served as the show's inspiration for its characters. Dazai's ability is based on his namesake's most well-known writings, which is also widely regarded as his masterpiece and is also the second best-selling book in Japanese history. That being, of course, no longer human. So, no longer human is translated as human disqualification. The tie in to the book and the ability is really, really fascinating given that the human disqualification effort is the main issue in the original work. So, No Longer Human tells the story of Yozu Oba, a troubled guy who believes he is not human because he is detached from and afraid of human connections, and hence unable to disclose his actual self to others. Instead, he maintains a facade of artificial humor, but despite his attempts to numb his underlying agony, he still feels alienated. So why did the creator of Bungo Stray Dogs decide to give no longer human the ability to nullify? Oba is someone who is in a deep emotional state. He feels like every day is this unending emotional torment, but he is unable to end his own life. In fact, he keeps failing in this sense. So instead, Oba looked for methods of overcoming his depression. He engaged in a variety of bad and criminal actions, which included drinking. 
So here, Obo is attempting to nullify his emotions. He is making an effort to repress them in order to prevent emotional scarring. This is similar to how Dozai's power can shield him from the effects of other powers that could hurt him. So yeah, Dozai still possesses a deadly degree of intellect and his level of prediction accuracy is insane. Now, despite all of his flaws and lack of physical strength, no longer human is an ability that makes up for the physical flaws and you know, though it may not appear to be the most remarkable in comparison to the other abilities in the show, I find it to be an extremely important one and one of my favorites. Not just that, but it always looked so sick when it was animated and I just felt so hype when it was used. So while you wait for the next video to drop on the channel, make sure to click the video link here to see me talk about some of the other characters in Boongo Stray Dogs and their real life inspirations. It was a massively, massively fun video to make. But guys, as always, you take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Peace, peace.